Okay, I got another one. This one's from Watch Gang. A lot of them are, but I do actually go out and buy my own. But we'll see. I don't know what this is. Oh, looks like it might be some sort of a pilot or something. I'm excited. Hmm. I don't know that I'm even going to try and pronounce that. Pick out, maybe. Oh, that is, that is nice. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is a nice watch. All right, let me see what I can find, and we'll do a video. Otherwise, we'll get right back into the review. Adolf Pagu was born on the 13th of June, 1889, in Montferrat, France. Pagu joined the French Army at the age of 18 and served from 1907 to 1913. Discharged on February 13th, 1913, he immediately began flying and earned his pilot certificate in March 1913. Using a sacrifice aircraft, Pagu was the first pilot to make a parachute jump from the airplane. During this jump, observing the unexpected path of the plane, and particularly a loose light trajectory, he was convinced he could reproduce and control a saving flight. After landing, Pagu addressed reporters. I've seen him, alone, looping the loop. So you see that is possible. Also, I will try. As a test pilot for Louis Blairois, he devoted himself to this goal with a Blairois Model 11 monoplane in a series of test flights exploring the limits of airplane maneuvers. Having modified his airplane and after realistic head-down ground training, he then flew the first inverted flight in September of 1913. Then, on the 21st of September, he flew the loop, believing it to be the world's first. The blue speed was consequently widely publicized and believed by many to be the first loop. Alright guys, so hopefully you liked that video. I have to say this watch is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I, I'm just going to get right into the price because it's so ridiculous. Um, this watch, I paid... $53.75 for. That's right. $53.75. I mean, just completely ridiculous. Like, totally absurd, absurdly low price. I mean, this watch is fantastic. Now, it's not a chronograph, right? I don't always have to have a chronograph, but it is very clearly a pilot's watch. It's got some really interesting features. Now, as explained, the whole brand is uh, sort of an homage to uh, Adolf Pechaud, or Pe... I keep trying to add a, a Dutch inflection onto, onto my French, which is horrible. And I apologize for anybody who's watching that's French. I am trying to do my best, but it's Pechaud, or Pechaud, Pechaud, Pechou. I, I'm sorry. In, in English, uh, it comes li quite literally to Begaud, or Pegaud, but it's Pechoud, or Pechaud, or something like that. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm trying. But uh, he was a very f uh, famous aviator uh, from, from France. Um, early on in World War I, he was one of the first air instructors and apparently became one of the first uh, uh, aces in, in World War I. You know? And that's when they flew those really, f th those really awesome bi-wing uh, prop planes. I mean, that was the golden era of flight. Although I personally like the P-52 Mustang also. I think it's pretty sweet. But this is a mecha course. I mean, this is such a fantastic watch. Like, I, 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 I have to stop myself. I mean, look at this, right? So let me just get these hands out of the way so I can... Uh, it's late, but I'll, uh, I'll fix this. Because I want you to see the second hand, right? This is the best, like, one of the best parts about the watch. It, it times like a... You know, I'm actually going to put... Uh, I'm, I'm going to add an extra video in there so I'm, you guys can just see. Because... You can't really get a good look of it when I'm holding it, but um, 
the second hand functions very similar to a mechanical watch. And so that's the point of these uh, Mecha Quartz watches. And I'll go into more detail uh, on this movement a little bit later in this review. But I want to be kind of quick about it. Um, what I love about this, it's... Gosh, where, where can I start? So it's got what's called, first of all, the retrograde... Um, retro, retro date. So it has uh, the 24... 24-hour indicator at the bottom at the 6 o'clock location. So that's day-night uh, indicator. Pretty cool. Um, you know, it's it's helpful, especially if you are you don't know where the heck you are. And uh, you've got it set to, to UTC or something like that. And, um, you know, you may know that it's daytime where you are, but you want to find out what it is based on UTC. So you have it set and that tells you, because obviously it's not 24-hour clock, uh, on the... Uh, nine o'clock location you've got the day of the week which is very cool um i think it's so cool as it goes to sunday it flips right back and then of course on the right hand side is the day of the week uh up to 31 days per month um and that's set using obviously using the crown you pull it out and adjust it but everything i love everything about this watch um I am just kind of destroying this this review because I'm so excited about all the different things. Um, the the watch strap, fantastic. Uh, everything about it, it's it's a um, you know I, I like when it's folded over and sewn because that definitely improves the life of it. I mean I can't tell you how many times I've had watches where, especially if it's leather and you get it wet sometimes and it soaks up and then this comes off and then it just pulls apart because it flips over it just it's very frustrating but this is a very supple very supple watch strap um very very nice uh fantastic feel and i am keeping this so i do not mind taking all of these um stickers and wrappers off which is unfortunate because it's yet another watch that i'm going to keep when i intended to uh, get rid of it uh <laughs> when i intend to get rid of half of them uh, it is going to be hard uh, i'm just going to be honest it's going to be really hard uh screw down crown it has a 50 meter water resistant. So although I don't think you would ever take this swimming, um, fit, you know, 5 ATM is pretty fantastic. That's good enough if you want to, I mean, honestly, if you wanted to go swimming, you could, I wouldn't, right? It's leather, uh, but that's good. That is probably the most perfect water resistance you could have for an all round watch that you intended to just wear um, and in case you find yourself in situations, I don't know, you fall off a boat. I mean, it happens, right? You know, we don't have all have that coordination when we're hanging out on our yacht and, and having a cocktail. Uh, or, you know, you have a, a monsoon when you're in Thailand, you know, for, uh, cause you need some, uh, uh pot thai or something. And you just, you, it, I mean, just down the street just doesn't do it. So you got to go straight to Thailand, you know, it happens, right? Um, or whatever, but gosh, so fantastic. I mean, I'm just all over the place with this. So I, I love, uh, the branding's cool. I, I really like it when uh, watch companies have a theme, right? I mean, it's, you know, it's it's fine. There's, there's a lot of nobility to having a watch brand named after uh, the maker, right? I mean, that's that's an important thing. The person's proud. Uh, but it's another thing too when you're actually buying a watch that has some some type of um i mean i won't say this as history because i don't think uh adolf had any idea that uh they would name a, a watch after him right so uh but it's nice it's cool and uh i think it's fantastic aviate is another brand and i'll put a couple pictures of them up here that also bases a lot of their watches off um at, all of them actually off different plane models the manufacturers and the different makes but this one it's uh this whole brand is off of this uh, ace fighter pilot in world war one so very fantastic i mean i love the case it's brushed on the sides uh polished in a couple places where you can see um and a very fantastic crystal like if you look at it it's it's flat but it is uh dished if you will i guess um it's uh it's raised now it is uh sapphire coated you can kind of see there's a little bit of a uh it's not anti-glare of course because you can see that but it is sapphire coated three layers so pretty fantastic there and as you can see 
The name is carried across on the buckle, uh, P on the crown, on the face, on the strap itself, and of course on the back. And the back really goes into some more detail uh, showing looks like actually the schematics of his his plane at least uh, the the design uh very nice um all right let's let's take a quick look at the movement and uh then we'll be right back the premiere uses the vh83a two jewel type m mecha quartz movement the vh83a is a multi-function movement consisting of 24 hours indicator minutes seconds date of the month and day functions. With two years battery life and accuracy of plus or minus 15 seconds per month, the VH83A provides accurate and reliable timekeeping functionality with modern day Mecha Quartz engineering. As a Mecha Quartz movement, the second hand is designed to replicate the action and response of a traditional mechanical movement while maintaining the reliability and precision of modern quartz technology. The two jewel movement is manufactured by SII from Seiko and is one in a long line of hybrid mecha quartz movements. Founded in 1937, SII is a member of the Seiko Group and stands for Seiko Instruments Incorporated. As a well-known quality movement manufacturer, Seiko Watch Corporation cooperates closely with watch producers in the planning and sales to ensure their movements are well represented. This movement may also be sold by additional watch manufacturers, which includes Hattori and Epson. These movements are assembled using Seiko parts by the respective companies. So this is my first experience with a uh, Mecha Quartz uh, three-hander. So pretty cool. Uh, most of my, all my other Mecha Quartz were actually the uh, VK64, which is the chronograph, uh, which is fine too, but uh, it was nice to get this. So I thought it was pretty cool. All right, let's do some measurements. I'm gonna say a good solid 44. I'm gonna say this 22. Yep, 22. And I'm gonna say about 12. 13. All right, I was close. Better than before. Lug to lug, pretty decent. About 50. And I'm gonna do the weight also. All right, we'll say I'm gonna round up to about 76 grams. So quite nice. Um, what else can I say about this? Well, you know what? Let's see what it looks like in the dark because I'm sure that that's pretty cool. I will, uh, give me a minute. I gotta find my flashlight. Ah, here it is. All right, turn off the light and we'll see. Oh, that's nice. I gotta turn off the main light for that. Give me a minute. Wow, look at that, okay, <laughs> I like that. Man, that is fantastic, that looks so amazing. Jeez, look at that. Yeah, this, I, I have to say, this has been an absolutely fantastic watch. Uh, if I didn't say it earlier, I paid $53.75 for this guy. $53.75 shipped. That's how much it costs for me to buy it and have it delivered to my house. Uh, that was with a Watch King wheel spin, and I think it was tier one. Uh, I don't think I did anything special. I just saw it and I was like, I need that. And so I clicked it three times for tier one, and uh, and I got it. Because, you know, if it lands on tier one, you're getting tier one. And <laughs> I got it, so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy. This is a fantastic brand. Um, and it comes in uh, several different, uh, th there's actually several different models too that you can also get, and I'll put some pictures up there on the right. Uh, as well but um, just absolutely fantastic I mean I, I, I could not go wrong with this um, this wouldn't even qualify for watch gangs um, what would you call it black tier this would be too too below for them uh, this is I think more like their tier one um, but just fantastic I mean this this is all the more reason like I was saying why I'm I've generally been really pleased with watch gang um now that i understand 
how the wheel works and I understand, you know, it, there's no trick, right? They won't try and trick you, but um, you just have to know if there's a watch you want, you just play the wheel that has it on there and you add it and, you know, you're, you understand your chances of getting that. So if you want something that's like on, on uh, tier two of wheel one, then maybe you go to, to wheel two and it'll be in tier one uh, and you just double up on it. But I got this tier one, wheel one, fantastic. Uh, all right, well, if you want to see any other videos like these, of course, you know, let me know uh, any brands or makes that you're interested in. Otherwise, please subscribe and like, and I appreciate it. Thank you.